I've always felt that we need a third sector, okay, uh, those who can contribute to Hong Kong's well-being or our future blueprint. What's, what should Hong Kong be like 20 years from now? The geographically elected uh, legislators, someone like me, really care more about the short term than the long term. Because for me to gain the support of my constituents, every time I talk about a long term issue, nobody really listens to me. With the uh, geographical constituency, it's all sectoral interest. All right? You basically have to answer to your voters, regardless of whether you agree or not agree. There are a lot of um, elite individuals in Hong Kong who has a uh, vision for Hong Kong and who really has depth and views to offer. But they are not political animal. They don't want to stand in the street and try to sell dreams and kiss babies and take pictures and get votes. And if it's a uh, geographical, I mean a uh, um, functional one, they don't want to be tied down to any sector. So we need a sector like that that can help balance the views and also probably help government push through some painful uh, policy and reform. But these people won't go for the current kind of uh, election. You know how many legislators we have had in NESCO that are fresh grad, that basically uh, uh, win the election based on one slogan, right? Which is mostly political, right? They offer very little. It's the same on the pro-establishment side. So getting nomination from a election committee, okay, gives the a third party a view to look at whether these people actually is fit. So if you have to get nomination from each of the five sectors, you have to know enough about what makes up Hong Kong. So that in itself, I believe it's a very healthy exercise.